so we're chilling in the area here. We're in the back of the fantastic pub that's Dylan's, and I'm here with a lady that's all dressed up. Where are you going? I'm going to the 1798 bottle, so I have over here in Ballinamuck, and we're reveling here in the Pikeman in, uh, in the after celebrations, or mid celebrations of the 1798 uh, uh, 225 year celebration. And um, I'm privileged to speak with you here today. Thank you. Now tell us, there's something else going on very important in the next few weeks, I think, for a young gentleman that was injured uh, from Donegal, is that right? Yes. Uh, all of what you see is happening here is a local community effort and the people here in North Longford are extremely tight-knit, they're close and they're very supportive of each other. And about six weeks ago, we had a young gentleman from Donegal, his name is Dylan Feely. And he sustained major life changing injuries uh, in a work accident while working up here in North Longford. Uh, and, and as a result, he's been hospitalised then. He's a very, very, very lucky man. He's lucky to be alive. He has a partner and a lovely little girl called Krina at home in Donegal. And uh, Dylan currently is still in the Burns Unit in St James' Hospital in Dublin. He has a long, long, long road ahead of him. Um, he is still undergoing treatment in the Burns Unit and will need intensive treatment in the rehabilitation unit in Dunleary after his stay in St James' Now we as locals, many of us were around on the day, we saw the activity from helicopters, ambulances, and fire services all attending the scene and it had a huge, this incident in North Longford has had a massive impact on us. Uh, so much so that we have uh, felt the need and we all want to do something to actually help support him in his recovery. We are organising a fundraiser on September 30th where we are going to have a function here in the Pipe Man Inn in Ballymore. We've got local musicians who are going to uh, entertain us on the night. We will have uh, fundraising, spot prizes, uh, donations on the field in the And what we're going to do is uh, uh, all those proceeds will go directly to Dylan Bean and his family to enable him and promote his recovery. Um, I spoke with the family recently and they say he's a very, very, very lucky man to be alive and they say they always tend to be able to give him something back and he's working in our weekly community and the fact that this incident has had such an impact on us is only something small that we can actually do for him. You're some woman at all. What do you work at? I'm a nurse. <laughs> I don't mind you looking after me. Nurse, nurse, just talk to me. <laughs> Look, thank you very much and uh, we wish you the very, very best and congratulations on what you've achieved here, which is absolutely an amazing community and uh, I'm delighted to be part of it. So thanks a million. Bye for now.